Two out of three of Etika's mental breakdowns led to him seeking help, but on April 29th of 2019, Etika refused to get help, resulting in him blocking his friends and his mass amount of tweets and anti-Semitic quotes. My name is Teresa Alphonse. I am the founder and executive director of What's On Your Mind Incorporated, and I'm also the Community Health and Wellness Program Manager at Brockton Neighborhood Health Center. I've been in the line of work for about six years now, and then with mental health specifically, I've been in that line of work for about three years. Okay, and you know, even if we don't last on this platform, at least I'll be able to get the message out there in some form or fashion. But for now, I got to explain everything, man. I apologize. I'm, I'm apologizing heavy because it's definitely necessary to do so because there are a lot of people that genuinely were concerned for me with this whole situation. To stay mentally healthy, you can not isolate yourself and stay in a group because if you are alone with your thoughts, it is very dangerous. It just kind of puts a sour taste in the mouth because it's like, what is he, feigning suicide? That was never the case. I never intended to make it seem like I was trying to use um, a threatening su or being suicidal for views. That is not anything what I was trying to do. And I greatly apologize that I kind of put that out there. I did not want that kind of energy to be out there. And then, yeah, I was having myself a breakdown slash mental revelation. I'm not the same person as back then. Essentially, the way I started What's On Your Mind, way to view background, is a nonprofit organization that focuses on normalizing conversations, specifically in communities of color, it was through navigating my own mental health and beginning to see a therapist and learning about all the benefits that therapy brought to my life. People would talk to me from all different walks of life, specifically black men, which I feel like speaks to the lack of outlets for black men. I've been trained with motivational interviewing. I have my public health background, which is very, very much connected to mental health because public health is essentially the study of how environment impacts you. 